Are you exhausted, burned out, maybe frustrated by the fact that you feel like you're constantly working but not getting enough done? You may benefit from setting some clear boundaries between work and play. I'm a business coach that's helped a lot of people define that boundary so that they can get a lot more done and enjoy their life more while also succeeding. And let's jump right in into how. It's not really possible to work and rest at the same time. Sure, it's something to aspire towards, of do the work that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But on the path towards that end goal, there tends to be some work that we just don't want to do. But here's the trick. It's often associated that, okay, well, if I work more, then I'll get more done. But there comes a point at which that starts working against you. So simply put, my recommendation is this. Take your day, maybe even in your calendar, and explicitly block off the time where you're going to rest. If you're constantly on, that is an absolute surefire recipe to burn yourself out. So instead, not only schedule the time that you're sleeping, but time that you're not working. Maybe your email is not going checked. You're not checking what your clients are up to or any component of your business. You're explicitly doing something else. And that's a really important component of bouncing back. I highly recommend that you do that so that your work time then becomes more effective. If you ever want to have a fun experiment, take the time that you're working and actually shrink it. We've talked about heart attack protocol in the past, a way of taking your work and boiling it down to the key few steps that you need to do if you only had a few hours every day to work. And you'll notice yourself not only working harder in that time to get that stuff done, but then also enjoying yourself more when you have time to actually rest instead of half resting while you're not really working either. So to be really specific, in order to set clear boundaries between work and play, make sure that you don't just schedule the time you're working, but also schedule the time that you're explicitly not working. The next step that I recommend that's unbelievably important is to create a few tasks. You can do this categorically. For example, when I'm working, I'm either with clients or working towards getting new clients or when the occasion comes up, working on my business. And boom, that's when I'm working too. When I'm not working, I'm doing these things. I'm spending time with my loved ones. I'm spending time meditating or I'm really just getting a really good night's sleep. And recognize that those explicit activities do not overlap. You can't get a good night's sleep while you're with clients unless you're in a very obscure line of work. So by defining those activities, you can make sure that you not only are getting what you need, but that you're doing each of those things better. Because if you look back on how you spend your time, I promise you, you will find some activities that don't fit in either category. Maybe sitting on the couch with your laptop while the office is playing in the background while checking your email here and then, that doesn't really fit in either category of really working or really resting. So by doing this and defining the best activities to either productively grow your business or productively unwind so that you can truly pour yourself into building your business, you're gonna find yourself not burning out, but actually building a sustainable, consistent routine. And this is the reality. Right now we're recording this during COVID and we don't know what the future holds. Something that some people presumed was going to take just a few weeks or months is now more than six months in. So when you're in a tough time, instead of burning yourself out on purpose by just focusing on the work activities in order to quote unquote get through this, I always recommend finding something that becomes more sustainable so you can settle in for the long haul. If you want a good way to hit this point home, imagine how much more productive you could be doing what you're doing for five times as long instead of five times as hard for a lot less time and then having to recover for the rest of that time. Plus, which seems more fun? Some people advocate working really, really hard and then just taking time to downcycle. And that can be exciting, but in the long term, having something that you can settle into the long haul and then have sprints therein, but not have to just recover from burnout can really make you a lot happier and a lot more productive. My name's Leo, I'm a business coach. If you want a complimentary session to look at your day-to-day -day and help figure out how you can be more sustainable, check the description to set up a complimentary session and make sure that you get what you need.